What's going on people? Today we're gonna go ahead and see about hunting this Arctic Flipper. Um, I have seen a couple of suggestions as far as like what are the best heroes and I see some charts out already as far as like what's best for free to play and pay to play but some of them they don't make sense like yeah it just it just doesn't make sense so we're, we're gonna go ahead and try the usual teams and see if there's anything that we can improve on especially like for level five do we need a tank for this type of hero or or i guess monster uh, or not we'll see so let me go ahead and first of all pop a 50 percent to hunt this and i am going to be using my uh where is it actually let me go ahead and use this real quick siege ancient drake riders okay where's my um there is hunting ground so i'm gonna go ahead and do that now of course this one says uh high physical defense so the usual team that i would use for this is this right this is uh so it's a basic team and for a level five the only downside to this team right here is if that monster does a lot of damage you may need to add a tank or maybe even twilight priestess to turn it around if it does like a uh, cleave damage but i haven't really seen what this monster does and this chart that i'm looking at here it says that the level five suggestion would be witch doll twilight priestess petite devil um fox and uh dream witch so some of these are the same but i don't know let's go ahead and try the first one and see how much it does is it a decent amount 3.7 that's actually pretty good now let me take a look at the battle um because if no one dies I may just stick with this team, like almost 4% out of the first hit. Now, granted, I am using a boost and the familiar, which helps a lot. Not just in damage, but obviously keeping uh, heroes alive because the more damage they do, the more they'll heal, etc., etc. So, like right there, um, Fox might have actually died there. So, hmm. See, like that damage that she takes. Like, when he starts body slamming her, right? Like, yeah, that she might actually die there if it was without the extra boost. So, definitely something to keep in mind. Hmm. Also, I just... I, 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 oh, oh. Okay, wait. That would have easily wiped my team there. Hmm. But that, that seemed like an actual AoE, not like a cleave. So I can definitely see um, this monster being a little bit weird for level 5. Because right now I did almost 4%. But if that ability that he just used there kills 1 or 2, it can severely cripple my damage. So let me see if I can actually see a, an instance where it does. 3.6, that's about right. And just for the sake... Of this, I'm going to go ahead and try the team that they were suggesting, um, which I believe was Witch Doll, yes, um, Twilight Priestess, was Twilight right here, and then the other one was Fox, and Petite Devil, yeah. So let's see what this does. 3.2, yeah, it did less, it did less. Now, was it because someone died? But it clearly did less. And that's what I was talking about. Like, I can see why you would want to bring Witch Doll. Because Witch Doll does bring that defensive boost. Um, and Twilight... I don't know why Twilight Priestess is here. Because that damage seemed like it was an AoE. Like an all-around. Not a cleave thing. So turning it around doesn't seem like it'll do too much. And she, she hasn't even turned that around anyway. So it's, it seems like Twilight Priestess is like a loss of damage here. Because she's not necessarily tanking any better. She's not turning it around. And it doesn't look like... It doesn't look like she's actually going to stop that damage from the team. I'm pretty sure she, he's still going to hit the whole team. But let's see. Let's see. I may be wrong. There it is. Yeah, no. It's, it's, just, it's just straight up hitting the whole team. So, yeah, if, it feels like Twilight Priestess is a bit wasted here. That's where the damage was kind of lacking. So, if you add Incinerator to that lineup, I can see it doing pretty well. But, hmm. 
So let's take out Twilight Priestess, right? And then uh, put in Incinerator. Or actually, actually, I think he might be better because he lowers magic defense. Let's try this out. Let's try this out. Let's see. 3.5. And remember that every time we hit, we should get more damage because of that um, extra damage here. The increased damage. So this one's actually doing 3.5. So, I still think that you'll probably get better results out of the uh, initial team that I used. This one. I mean, I, I might do 4.5 now if it's any indication. But let's see. Let's see. 4. Yeah, 0. 0.5 is a lot. For level 5, that's a lot of damage uh, increase. But the, the only thing that I will say is though, because I'm using the damage boost and I'm using the familiar at the start with this team. You may actually see it struggle a bit because of that uh, that extra damage. Look at that! I'm almost at five percent. That's it. Just shows you that this hero is actually not that hard to hunt. Um, you shouldn't be having much issues. But if you don't have the familiar ready and you don't have a boost going, I could see I could see you maybe taking out a hero for um like a child of light so let's say that i was taking too much damage and i needed a tank i would take fox out and i will add child of light because he does well with magic heroes he boosts their damage now i can't find the dang thing here it is so let's see how much damage you actually lose with child of light and see what the difference is so we were doing about five percent 4.8 Yo, that's actually not that big of a difference. And you have a tank in there. So we have 4, 4.4, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 4. 4. 4. 4. yeah. So I, I honestly, I feel like I would probably start with a Child of Light at the start until you get some of that extra bonus and then swap it over. But even then, it didn't seem like it was that big of a difference. Let me see, let me see, one more time. 5 point something, right? 4.7. Hmm. I think, honestly, the safest route without any boost might be Child of Light. So this is a, this got about 4.7. Let me put Child of Light in this time. And I bet you it's probably going to gonna be around the same uh, around the same area. Let's see. 5.2. Actually, even more. Um, wow. Wow. So using a tank here, you don't really necessarily lose a lot, a lot of damage. So I may just stick around with Child of Light for the off chance that um, one of my heroes die. But I do want to try out, and, I, and I, now I can't find the dang hero. Here we go. Because um, I, I, I feel like it might flip a bit. 5.1. Yeah, so it seems like it's about the same damage. It's just that Child of Light is a little bit safer because it's an actual tank that's meant to take damage. So yeah, 5%. And now if I swap over to Child of Light, I'm guessing it's going to be somewhere in the 5 to 5.5% range. I'm, I mean, I'm guessing, but we'll see. Let's see. Child of Light, here we go. When I was using Ch Witch Doll, 4.5. Ooh, that actually went down quite a bit. Ooh. Let's try one more time and see. 5? Yeah, yeah. So I need a time six now to finish this off. And then maybe we can try, yeah, there we go. Maybe we can try another one. There we go, okay. So now that I don't have that boost, right? That initial boost that starts with a 15 times at the start, I wanna see how it changes the beginning of a fight. I, I saw a jewel in here somewhere. Oh, oh, two. Okay, Rogers, appreciate you. I don't need those jewels anymore, but it's nice to have. Um. Also, I just have to, I have to point this out, okay? I don't know how many of you have actually noticed and felt bad about this, but this little seal, it's actually trying to escape the whole time. Like, that seal is his lunch. And look at it, he's like, he's slamming it into the ground. He's, it, look, it's trying to run away, it's trying to run away, and then he picks it up. That's his lunch, guys. So when I hunt it, look, he's kicking it. What the? I'm sorry if I ruined it for some of you. Look, look at him. Wow. And also, when you when you kill him, 
when you when you actually take him down, you save this little seal or wh whatever the hell that is. It's some sort of like I, I'm pretty sure it's like a seal or something. But um, when you when you actually take him down, you save it. So this might this might be my favorite monster to hunt. Look at this. Watch watch him slam this thing to the ground. Look look, he's just like legit kicking it at you. That it's it's just so rude. So damn rude. But I want you to see I want you to see at the end here. I want you to take a look at the end. Look look, he's just slamming it to the ground. That's that's gonna hurt the damn thing. But look, he's dead and it you you save it. You save it. So I'm just saying just saying. All right, now level 5. We have no boost, no anything to go off of. So let's see if this initial team survives the same way without that extra healing. I I think it's not going to be as good because I, I, I'm pretty sure that a hero might die or two without that extra boost. But let's take a look. I'm expecting like 0.5. Yeah. Yeah. But I, I want to see the battle because I'm fairly sure that a hero might die here. Let's see. You just gotta, you gotta feel bad for this seal or whatever that's supposed to be. Cause seals, aren't they considered like the dog? Yeah, see, right, it, it died. Yeah, I knew it. Um, aren't they considered the, the dogs of the, of the sea? Oh my god, I lost three. Yeah, so this team initially isn't very good until they can sustain. Oh my god, it's just, it's just literally gonna wipe me. Ooh, you see that? That's why you also have to consider this, um, the successful hunts because that's what literally killed my whole hunt but if i change her for child of light how much better does it survive do i go up 1.1 yeah i survived much better so honestly if it was me and i was hunting a level five and i just wanted to like hunt a lot i would just leave child of light in he's clearly safer at the start because he's an actual tank that will take hits um and as you saw the more hits you get, it doesn't seem like the damage goes down that much. So, there's the heal right there from uh, Dream Witch, which is really huge here because uh, I came in clutch. The one I worry about a bit is um, the Elementalist, because he, he has no way of healing by himself. He relies solely on Dream Witch, and there's the heal. So yeah, to start, this is the team that I would use. For sure, for oh, Dream Witch is dead. Oh, there goes my heal. Oh, that's that's bad. But honestly, that was like at the end. Uh, I still left some meat on the bone, if you will. But I still think that this is probably the best team. He does a lot of high physical defense. What if, okay, we know that, we know that um, Child of Light is decent, but if we're talking about physical defense, right, the one that really jumps to my mind here is uh, Cer Cerberus, or Cer, what the hell is his name? Now I gotta look, because I, 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 I'm blanking out in his damn name. Um, Vengeful Centaur? Tarkus, the Centaur. Um... He might actually be a pretty decent one, at least at the start. Because I don't think he will die like like Child of Light did there. 1.2, yeah, I figured. He might not bring as much damage as Child of Light because he's not helping the magic heroes. But if they survive those extra 10 seconds, it works just the same, right? That's extra damage that you weren't doing before with Child of Light, so... I still think though that overall the Child of Light is, is better because once you get the chain to like five, six hunts in a row, you should have enough to where you can heal yourself fine. Uh, so, okay, excuse, excuse you. But yeah, see how he's taking the hits so much better? Yeah. So, I mean, he works fine. He works fine. 
but I I still think that um, Child of Light is better. It's a better like overall just default team, if you will. Yeah, and there's the last hit, and everybody survived. Cerberus doesn't bring much damage to the table, unfortunately, but, I mean, that's what you give up when you're hunting level 5. So you have to give up a little damage sometimes just to survive. And look, look, he's chasing the damn thing because he's running away. Oh, my God. But, okay, one last with um, Child of Light, and then, let's see, where's Child of Light? I honestly feel like this is this is the best one. Yeah, 1.3, yeah. And then it's just good it's just going to go on and on and on. So, yeah, this is this is the team that I would I would go for with uh level 5 uh and, and of uh Arctic Flipper. This this is the team that I would go with. That one team that I saw that was uh suggested, Witch Doll, Twilight Priestess, Fox, uh Petite Devil, eh, it's I definitely wouldn't say that's the best team. I don't think so. I don't think so, um, but yeah, I I'm I might actually do the same here as far as free to play. Let me know if you want to see um, maybe trying to find the best free to play team. But for pay to play, I still think that this is the best overall team, um, at least that I that I've tested. Obviously, there are some other heroes that you might want to try out, but generally speaking, a lot of these heroes for monsters, they're about the same team. You know, the physical heroes, you'll use most of the same ones. I really wish that some of these actually had, like, a designated hero that might do more damage to them. Like, this thing is a, is a what is this, like a killer whale? So, what, like a pirate or something that actually hunts whales could actually do some decent damage. So, what, who would fall into that category? Like, Ethereal Guide, right? Isn't she like a pirate or something? I could see her, if, even though she's physical... You can have like a designated star by her and be like, hey, if you use this hero, it does 200% damage or something. I don't know. It's a nice idea to change up the heroes because when you're hunting monsters, it's, it's a lot of the same monsters, really. You don't, you don't really see much uh, difference between physical and magic heroes. It's for the most part the same. But anyway, let me know the teams that you guys are using for different level. Remember that level 2s, level 3s may not be as hard, so... For that, I wouldn't use. I wouldn't bother using Child of Light. I would just use this. I feel like that's this is straight up still the best team for this. Um, but yeah, appreciate you guys for watching. Like I said, let me know what teams you guys are using down below. And until later, bye.